Yeah, good start. What do you do for a living, like a job? A uh, web developer. A web developer? Oh, okay. What are you, a spider? <laughs> I don't agree because I've met a lot of high value men who are very successful that want a woman who has passion and drive and focus as well. Let me ask you a question on that. Do you think that men lie to get laid? Yes. Do you think men will tell you what you want to hear to get laid? Never. The more money a man makes, the less he cares about the money that you bring or right, your career. Yeah. So I would argue that actually the less money a guy makes, that might be the type of guy who is more inclined to have some sort of care about the money you bring. If he's looking long term into like, mm -hmm. okay, I want a family, the economic reality, we're going to need two incomes. Speaking. He might care, but you specifically mentioned like high earners. And I would argue right. high earners actually, the more money a guy makes, the less he cares about how much money makes. Yeah. I don't agree. How the fuck is it that men can have their wages garnished, lose their license, and even go to jail for not paying child support, and yet there is zero accountability from the women to show proof that that money is actually being spent on the children? That is an excellent question. The data shows that 40 to 50% of men are raising a child that's not even theirs. With that being the case, the fact that we haven't made DNA tests mandatory, I don't know when or if there will ever come a time where we hold women accountable to show if they actually spend the money on the children. You guys are dating each other, right? Yep. All right, so you guys must be loyal to each other, right? Well, of course. Now, have you guys been supposed to each other and check each other's messages? Is that okay with you guys? Yep. Right, so check Where's your phone? Oh, mine? Yeah, check your phone too. Like. I thought we were just doing one person switching around. Oh, no, no, I'll check both phones real quick, just real quick. Hey. Yeah, yeah. So you don't need to go through my phone. <laughs> Can't look, can't look at your phone? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Because I can't look through my phone. Why not? What's on your phone? It's called Trust. I don't even think. Phone. We're talking about this. Why? You have to give me your phone. What's, what's, the, what's the problem, though? Nothing. I just don't to go through messages. I didn't think I was going to be in this. I thought it was just him. It's not a problem. He just he goes through my phone all the time. I just think there's no reason to go through my phone. I'm getting kind of anxious right now. It's all right. What do you so maybe we should just not. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Ready? Okay. I'm I sorry if you guys find someone else to do it. Please. But this was in loyal. I'm not where I want to be. But I thank God I'm not where I used to be. Jesus Christ. Open a relationship for 14 years. 14 years? You just f whoever. We both f whoever. I'm monogamous on the sentimental, but no, not sexually. I think it's stupid. Thank you. You guys have three sums. We have done it all. I used to have a Sunday DP with my best friend and my husband. Oh my and God. What about church? <laughs> I'm sorry if you're watching this. This third guy has a small penis. And he was perfect for double bed. Legends say on Christmas Eve night, after Santa Claus delivers a gift, he says her name three times. I left my boyfriend and I've been traveling for 10 days and I've slept with 22 people in that 10 days. My goal was 20 and I just hit 22 this morning. It's 1 p.m. now here in Paris and I need to check out because I'm going home. I really doubt I'm going to get another one on the board either on the plane or like on my layover. So I think 22 is where we're gonna cap it out, but. I forget what I said, I messed it up. I meant to say that on Christmas Eve night after Santa Claus delivers gifts, he says her name three times. I'm sorry, forgive me. I had a threesome with a guy and his mom and that was like his birth mother. Damn! Wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on, hold on. So is, when you say threesome, Everybody interacted with she each other. She was sucking dick. Um, it's an evil world we live in. You gotta go. If she's gonna get secure, bro, your job is to make her secure again. Do you even have a girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Why? What you trying to do? Don't be that. You're giving anybody advice, and it's shit advice. So I have to ask. It's shit advice. You got a man? No. So shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Yeah, I think we have a huge problem. You know? What? I think. Uh... <laughs> I think, I think I think we must sleep together tonight. Impressive. Very nice. Now listen here. There ain't no doubt. It's been proven time and time again. A woman's the craziest fucking creature God ever put on this earth. He's out of line, but he's right. anything wrong 
I'm my own person. I have my own life and I do what I do and I'm making money. You're not paying my bills. You're not paying my rent. You do, but you also have two little sisters that look up to you. Okay. And but, as a parent, it makes it very hard for me to be proud and brag about what my kid's doing for a Well, you don't have to fat. tell them anything. Just tell them how much I'm making a month and that's what should be enough for them. Not, not when it's at the cost it's at. It'll always follow you. No, I understand you. how you, don't you feel. Have to do, I understand you don't how have you feel, but I know what I'm doing and I'm a grown adult and it's my body, my choice. And she is completely right. It is her body. It is her choice. And that is why you should make the choice to cut her off and not have any dealings with her for the rest of your life. If you are a good mom and you did your job right, or if you're a good dad and you did your job right, and they still turn out that way, that has nothing to do with you. You have no fault in the matter. Cut them off. Don't deal with them anymore. And let them go through that turmoil for the rest of their life by themselves. Always say your body count is three, but your body count actually isn't three. Correct. Of course. Yeah. But that's how you tell guys three body counts. Oh, so you're lying to them? Repeat it. Is that Repeat it. This is how all the girls do. Just tell guys you have three body counts and that's it. Even no more questions. Even though you don't have three. Yeah. I have a girlfriend that's telling his boyfriend like uh, she's a virgin before her. And she's not a virgin. Yeah. And he's totally into her. Guys, if a girl ever tell you that she's a virgin. All you have to do is monitor her menstruational cycle while you're dating. And then when the time comes that you're going to get some cheeks, make sure it is two weeks after her period has ended so that she doesn't try to give you on the day that her period just starts or at the end of it. You're welcome. I was playing with the little fella one day. Right. And I said little things to him. Right. Okay. At one point, I said something to him, and I could have swore that that little guy looked at me and said, K Possum. Well, we'll find out today. We'll find out. He gave if, a child, if a child, if a child is born Spanish, he he'll naturally English. grow to speak Spanish. Right. Older niggas got more than the little niggas that's my age, which I'm 15. What the fuck can this 15, 16 year old boy do for me? Nothing. Bitch, I need school clothes, I need money, I need my hair now, I need this, I need that. So what you gonna resort to? What you know? And they was doing shit for me, and yeah. And doing shit to her. They weren't just giving me the money just because I want to give it to you, but... They was molesting her. I was giving it up willingly, but since they I was underage, so that's 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 molestation. I'm not gonna say it because I wanted to do it, but I knew you that did it out of necessity. Yeah, I did it because that's what I felt like I needed to do. Because who the fuck else was doing it? This is why strong fathers are needed in the home. We can't even judge her for what she did. She did what she did out of necessity. we like, oh, she didn't have to. Yeah, it's easy to say that when you're not in that same situation. I'm telling you, boys. As a young girl, even a young man, being that age. And you see all the kids around you with things and you don't have it because you don't have a dad. Your mom don't have enough money to do it being a single mom. You resort to doing things you know you're not supposed to do just because you don't want to feel left out. Until we meet again.